Good morning, Tilly Summit Academy. Happy Friday. It's Mr. Gavin and Miss Cowell with another morning meeting. Uh, because it's close to Halloween, we are coming from a haunted side of our school. Um, we decided to do it on location, just get into the Halloween mood. Um, a couple announcements before we get started with the fun stuff. Um, I read next week for our fourth graders. We're going to do that Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 until 10 o'clock. Please make sure that your fourth grader is on time to school um, and make sure that if they are going to be a little bit late, make sure they get breakfast at home um, so our brains can be nice and ready to go for this test. Virtual scholars, make sure you come in at those days on that on those days at those times um, or you can come in and get all your tests done on Monday from 9 to 12. Um, Ms. Cowan will test you for those. Um, but yeah, I read next week for our fourth graders. Make sure you're coming in. And one more announcement. On Tuesday, we have a virtual learning day. Scholars, you're going to need to take your computers home if you're in grades 4, 5, and 6. Um, K through 3, your work will be provided for you on the website or on Schoology or given to you as a packet. Um, so make sure that you do not come on Tuesday. Um, parents, if you're watching this, make sure you get out and vote. I got a shout out. Shout out! This shout out, uh, these shout outs are coming from Miss Howard. Uh, she would like to shout out Miss Willis's class because they were the first class uh, to take their unit test on ClearSight and they were really patient and worked really, really hard. So let's give them two claps on two. One, two. I got a shout out. Shout out. This shout out again is from Miss Howard. And this is for Aiden Hill. On that unit test, Aiden got a 105% because not only did she do the questions asked, but she did the bonus. So awesome job, Aiden. Let's give her two claps on two. One, two. Uh, for this next student, actually two teachers want to shout him out. So I got a shout out. Shout out. This shout out comes from Miss Hogan and Miss Howard. Uh, Miss Howard, they want to shout out Lamani Ruffin because he is always working hard um miss miss hogan said he's working hard toward his goals and he's really starting to come out of his shell as he has just been with us a few weeks so great job lamani we look forward to getting to know you even better let's give him two claps on two one two i got a shout out shout out these shout outs are from me i first want to shout out miss howard miss howard um I want to shout her out for embracing technology. She was our first teacher to use the ClearSight program for a unit assessment, um, and it seems like it was a success. So thank you, Ms. Howard. The rest of the teachers, let's reach out to Ms. Howard and let's get some more unit assessments on ClearSight. Um, so two claps for Ms. Howard on two, one, two. And then I want to shout out um, in Ms. Willis's class, Tarias and Tyrese. Tarias and Tyrese are always not just working hard, but trying. I know that it's really hard for kids sometimes when something's hard to just give up, but the two of them, when I was in there the other day, they were just constantly trying, even when it was hard and they didn't know. They didn't um, get frustrated or upset. They just kept working through it and they were asking questions. And I just really, really appreciate effort. So uh, for Tarias and Tyrese, two claps on two, one, two. I got a shout out. Shout out. I want to shout out Miss Hogan's class. Um, I had to stay with them for a couple hours the other day, and they just did an amazing job. It is very evident that they know their routines and procedures. We didn't have any issues at all. We were using computers, and they knew their expectations. And even with Miss Hogan gone, they were upholding those expectations. So shout out to Miss Hogan's class for Miss Hogan. Um, setting up those routines and procedures, but also for her class upholding them. Two claps on two, one, two. You done? Yeah. All right. I got a shout out. Shout out. Uh, first shout out is from Ms. Dyer. Um, it's going to go to one of our fifth graders, Hafsa Husseini, and one of our sixth graders, Kendrick Torrance. Um, Kendrick carries the team every day. He's always a leader in discussion, um, and he's someone that Ms. Dyer can always count on. And Hafsa killed her literary essay um, out there just writing like a champ. So let's give those two scholars two claps on two. One, two. I got a shout out. Shout out. This shout out comes from our first grade teacher, Miss Scott. Uh, she wants to shout out Anaya Boxley for improving her behavior and her participation this week. Let's give Anaya two claps on two. One, two. 
I got a shout out. Shout out. This comes from Mr. Jacobs. These are his athletes of the week. In kindergarten, it's Cole Eden Michelle. In first grade, it is Stanley Journey. Second grade, Jesus Velasco. Third grade, Darren McFarlane. Fourth grade, Rose Sasha Michelle. Shout out to the siblings. In fifth grade, it's Jasmine Vallejo. And sixth grade, it is Brenton Johnson. So let's give those athletes of the week two claps on two, one, two. And that is it for our shout outs this week. So let's get this thing warmed up nice and hot like a bag of hot Takis for your hard work. Being prime examples of what a Tinley Summit Scholar should be inside and outside of the classroom. We would like to offer you the official. That is it from us. Have a happy Halloween. If you are celebrating, be safe. Um, we want to make sure that we see each and every one of you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend and have a great day today at the summit. See you guys. Because we are. Yeah,